There's something called the uncanny valley in, in robotics, which is the kind of maybe the naive sense is the more human like something should be, the better it would be. And what roboticists have discovered is that as you get closer to human like, but not quite human like, it actually starts to be worse, much worse. Um, people like get very creeped out and feel really uncomfortable. Um, and so, so they, 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 you know, this, is, this has been studied. People can map it a little bit. It's, it's difficult to, to dimensionalize it. But I, the, the hypothesis for why this is is because there are aspects where people, you know, in our evolutionary history where people might have psychological problems or you might have people who, have like, who are sick and ill and don't behave quite right. And um, sociologically, that's a danger to, to everyone. So you're very sensitive to things that are not quite normal. And so as the robots start to look more like us, but be, like, when we start to become like, really uh, tuned into all these fine differences, whereas if you can readily attribute like, some uh, other identification, like it's not a person, it's like a chair or robot, then you, you're not worried about that. Like maybe it's a sick person question. Mm -hmm. How do you know how much human to put in? That's such a great question. I mean, I don't know. I, I, my feeling is it's not, it's an interesting research question, but from a pragmatic standpoint, it's not necessary. I think a lot of times the argument for making human like robots is that, well, people know how to interact with people, you know, and people also know how to interact with hundreds of thousands <laughs> of objects, you know, and so kind of, you know, there's many other leaping off points that we could use.